Um, my name is PG Lemon. I waste your time. Today I'll be showing you what I think is the proper way in order to export a project file to give it to someone else or to sell it on your own. So let's get started. So right here, I have my edit over here. And the way that I usually give someone else my project file is I have the whole project. I export that out as a DRP file. And then I also have the footage file underneath in order for people to play back the footage and see what I did and how all these adjustment clips work together. And so I'm going to try and do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a whole different layer to have like footage at the bottom. So this can play back real easily. I'm just going to go over to the video track over here. And since we're in 18.5 right now, we can actually go to add tracks over here and then that'll make another track over here. And then we can just move this up or we can actually right click and then we can change the move track up over there. And so that just moves it up and now we have everything over here. And then right now we're just going to deselect all of these layers with all this footage on it. And we're going to render out just a pass of all the footage without any of the adjustment clips that are here. So I'm just going to disable all these layers over here, just like this. And yeah, that should be it. And then for these ones, I'm just going to highlight this over here. I want to hold down Alt and then I'm hit D. And it's going to disable these over here. And so we just have this footage over here. So we have this as our footage and just like that. And so I'm just going to render out a pass of this. So let's go over here to our deliver page and just render this out. And we're actually going to save this in a new folder on the desktop. So let's go over here. Let's make a new folder. And let's just say this is going to be the zero edit. And we're going to save that over here. Let's see, I'm going to call this footage. And let's put it as MP4. Let's save it the right place. And we're going to save this here. And then we're just going to do render out what we have over here, just like this. Hit add to render queue. And then we're going to hit render. All right, once that's done, let's go back to the edit page. And then we're going to add another bin over here. So I'm just going to go down over here and then right click new bin. And then let's add a bin. Let's say, let's name it relink that's what i name it usually there we go i right, so we have a relink bin we're going to open this up and then let's go right click we're going to import that footage we just rendered out into this bin so find it this there we go and now we have our footage over here and i'm just going to move this audio down just a little bit or move this one to a different layer and then we can import this footage back in down over here and there we have it just like this and now we can disable all of these footage clips that we have over here so all these compound clips just disable that and now we have a copy of everything and then we can undisable all these rest of these layers as well as this these adjustment clips over here and now we have everything with this footage file and it should look like the whole edit is there and that's just the way that i make these edits and yeah that's so that's a nice way of doing that and so when we want to export it we have our footage in that footage file with the ReZero edit and now we could just go up to file or go down to export and we can export project over here Control e and that'll open up and we can save our drb in that bin that we want let's go find that, that over there and yeah so let's open this file over here and then so whatever you want to send all you got to do is send the drp file and the footage and you should be off and they could view the edit how it was originally made just like that and yeah and you'll still have all of your other things intact over here so for example in your compound clips they'll still be here if they want to access the compound clip and see how you were able to do that all they do is go inside the fusion page of that disable clip and you should be able to see how it is made for example this is how i did that luma transition over here with the with the moon going over here just like that and you can see how that's made even though you're not actually seeing that on the clip now there's another problem that me may face when exporting and it, that is if you were actually using footage inside a fusion composition so let's go find a project with that right now all right say for example we have fonts that are in the edit just like this one or a image of an overlay that we put inside the fusion page of an adjustment clip or a fusion composition those will not update when you send your project file over to somebody else they will not have the same footage in the same location that you have it stored on your computer and so you can either export this and send this to them as well or and also the font or you you just don't include it at all and so i would say either disable it and just don't have it show up in the edit or if you do send it you have to set it up in a certain way so i want to show you how to do that right now so we have this overlay just like this and it might not be the same so we actually need to make a new compound clip with this overlay inside it so first you want to copy over that file that you have that is your overlay and paste it into that same bin that you have your other footage and your project file in and then you're going to import that into your resolve over here what i'm going to do i'm just going to go over here and this is going to have this if our transparent glass over here. I'm going to compound clip this right here. So it's going to be compound clip one, or we can name it to whatever we want and say glass break. 
over here. And then we have our footage inside this compound clip. And we, now we can just delete this. And now we go back inside Fusion where we have that footage that we have in the overlay. And now we need to, instead of using the actual overlay, we need to go over and use the compound clip with, with it. So do that. And let's put this over here. And now it's kind of the same thing. Might be zoomed in just a little bit or it might be off because it's actually being shrunk down to a 1920 by 1080 composition. And original overlay will be in our timeline resolution. There's not really much you could do with that except scale it inside of the compound clip the way that you want it so you can get all the detail if you would like that. But I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And so now every time someone import this glass break in uh, with your project file, it will actually update inside the adjustment clip because it is on a compound clip over here. And so see it's on the timeline instead of only being stuck inside of that adjustment clip or fusion composition. Because when you import and relink clips through the media pool, they will not update inside your adjustment clip. I don't know why it currently doesn't do that. Blackmagic should change that. But this is what we need to do for now in order for us to have that. And in order to adjust the font, I would just go instead of having the font that you have over here, I would go over to your text and just change it to Open Sans because that is the one that comes with DaVinci and that everyone has as well. So we just go over here and then Open Sans and then change this as well to Open Sans. We just hit O and it goes over down to the O's and then hit open sans just like that. And yeah, that is what we would have to do. Now, if I send this to somebody and have the crack glass as well as our footage down here, I didn't do it for this clip, but they should be able to import everything into their composition, relink all the clips with all of the footage that would be in the edit folder that you set up for them. And that should be fine. And they can be able to see the edit and everything you had to do to do in the edit, as well as have access to the assets that are used in order to create the edit as well. And yeah, hopefully that helps when you're selling your project files or giving your project files away. So it's much more easier for people to load your project file in a way that's more accessible to view. And if you want to know how to import someone else's project file inside of your DaVinci Resolve, click this video right here. But other than that, subscribe and have a good day.